G'day Beaks and Beaks to Be. Are you curious about learning more about beekeeping? I have been a beekeeper for over 55 years and rearing queen bees since the 1980s. When I met Alan through my local beekeeping club, I knew nothing about bees. The following video is condensed to show an example of best practice in beekeeping. This was a drone layer and we found it's been overtaken by a small hive beetle. As you can see how they can proliferate in the cells. So the way you can save your frames, hose out the cells as we're doing here, but then you can replace it back into a healthy hive um, and they'll be cleaned up quickly and you can, it saves you cutting out all these frames and destroying all your works. As you can see in the water, all these grubs are getting washed out. So that shows you, you know, the, the numbers. And this, this was caught early. So if it had been left to go to a, to a dead out, you'd have a lot bigger troubles than this. So early detection is key. So don't be shy when you shake that water out. Because out with it will come all those grubs who will be eaten alive by ants pretty quickly. And as you can see, even as, as Alan's tapping them there, they're, they're flicking out like, nothing's, like nothing else. Get all that water out and we've done this time and time again with just a frame or two as necessary mostly with stickies placed into a healthy hive do not place them into a hive if they are still full of grub especially not into a wheat hive. 